Hey you guys, Acker here. Today I'm bringing you guys the world's first double nuked out back to back and free for all. I got these on my live stream this morning. I had them originally uploaded, um, but I have to re edit them. The audio was uh, corrupted on the files because I used OBS to record. So I re recorded them in the theater mode for BO4. Thankfully, they fixed that recently in the last patch. But into the gameplay, I was using the Mazu pistol on Militia. The setup that I had for the first nuked out was the Mazu pistol with operator mod, head splitter. Fast mags and the scope on it. Scavenger, gun ho, and dead silence. And I was running lethal kill streaks, but I wasn't using them. I saved them because I went for the nuked out once I got about 15 no kills. Man in, which I usually do that anyway. Just in case I get killed, I call them in. First game took longer than it usually would take me to get it nuked out. Uh, it was because I was using the pistol and I kind of got hesitant towards the that end because I already saw like one or two nomads in the game. So I was worried that the dog would kill me. So what I decided to do is stay back by the riverside and play it safe and keep the vehicles as cover so i could just have long shot kills basically so i could just pop people with headshots because it was one hit kill but anyway on to the second game it is the spitfire smg with the operator mod with fast mags extended mags scavenger gun ho dead silence acoustic sensor uh, i had the lethal still on just in case i got killed like i always do like i said originally I like to have lethals on all the time because even if I don't get the nuke out, I'll just end the game. And UAVs They're are gone. helpful, yes, but I'd rather have kill streaks on just in case I start falling behind or if I'm gonna not get the nuke out, I'll just end the game. Because I've came very close to losing my win streak because right now I currently have 1100 wins or 1111 wins with three disconnects, no losses, and I'm trying to keep a win streak because I'm trying to have the highest free for all win loss ratio that I can humanly have possible with the disconnects are out of my hands but basically that's the reason why I run killstreaks so in case I fall behind I'll just end the game but anyway the gameplay I played this game a lot more aggressive I controlled the main church building and that was the rotation that I wanted to use this game it felt really smooth towards the beginning so I felt comfortable just controlling that building using Ajax with the nine bangs and in case I got in a bad situation I would pull out the shield and use it as cover to get Enemy away down. So this gameplay is insane though. I didn't think I would get two back to back. I did this on live stream this morning earlier and um, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you guys are new, turn on the post notifications by hitting the bell icon and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Ready to drop an assault pack. Tech 5 charged. Triage system engaged. He's gone. Wasted Nomad. Hostile down. Strike team awaiting orders. Seeking neutralized. Gunship awaiting orders. One by dead bad guy. One by dead bad guy. Kill. Mesh mine disrupted. One out of it. 
He's done. Assault pack right here. One by dead bad guy. Got him. Nasty little bastard. Sensor dart knocked out. Got him. Resup's good to go. Enemy down. Wasted Nomad. K9 unit destroyed. Go down. Oh. This one hurt a bit. Profit KIA. Assault packs ready. Hostile down. Go on. EKIA. Nine bang ready.
Sniper's nest on standby. Drop. That's a kill. Strike team awaiting orders. Nine bang ready. Chucking nine bang. Tango down. Hostile Seraph down. Enemy down. Nine bang going in. Battery drop. Recon killed. 